my father had uh, been living in Naples throughout the era of the you know build up of fascism and then uh, throughout the war. Now my father's father had been a socialist, which was uh, an outlaw in the fascist era. He was the head of the local post office, which made him the head of a union, which made him a dangerous person. And they had been sent into exile in a criminal city that was in between halfway between Naples and Rome. When my father was five, he was quite terrified all the time and experienced violence during that period. Eventually, the family went underground and moved back to Naples and fought in the Italian resistance. My father wrote of these things to my son. And it was such a gift he gave me in my childhood that he didn't bring the kind of anger or the kind of you, you know, you read so often about violence begetting violence and 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 he so deliberately set all those things aside and and, and raised his children in a brand new way that he himself had never had the opportunity to live. My parents were very opposed to war. They were pacifist. They, they understood the concept of a just war and they understood that fascism would have ended humanity in most senses of the word. But the war in Vietnam did not seemed to rise to that level. And even if it had, I don't know if they could have forsaken their pacifism. As a professional, I had never, I had always used principles of pacifism uh, in the investment process. But at that point, we at, at my firm at Domini Impact Investments committed ourselves to also using our shareholder voice to attempt to address the issues of gun violence in America. I can't say we've been terribly successful at it, but we've certainly had our minor successes along the way. Most important thing about buying better, in addition to reducing your complicity with the uh, economic violence that, that companies produce, you are also uh, raising a good deal of awareness about what the company's impact is. We scan the companies we own for opportunities. We don't buy guns. We never have. We don't buy weapons. We never have. But we do invest in companies that sell things. So we were able to address these companies that sell things and, and say, do you realize that you're selling this or this and what it does? Uh, an, an example, and, and I don't really want to name names too often, but we did uh, approach Amazon and say, you know, you're selling things that are advertised as making your conventional gun essentially a machine gun, uh, allowing it, you click it on and it allows your trigger to rapid fire. Uh, this is not only circumnavigating local law, but also um, not the kind of product we think is helpful to society. Uh, and uh, they did remove those vendors from their uh, network and they did refine their standards as to what they would sell. Investors have largely lost interest in complicity with it and, and most of the gun manufacturers have now become private companies. Far and away, the most problematic was petroleum. We didn't get a lot of pushback from investors saying, don't buy an oil company. That sophistication hadn't emerged, but we couldn't find one to buy because they had perfectly awful people and the planet implications. Their workforce was dying like flies. <laughs> they had terrible health and safety records in their workforce. They had terrible impact on indigenous populations. And many of them were working with warlords around the world that were suppressing human rights and freedom in order to 
get the petroleum that we needed to drive our little cars around. If it's too little, too late, I've done my best. But I don't know that we could ever have a hope of achieving universal human dignity and ecological sustainability in an environment where investing was no rules, no checks and balances, only make money because you, it's always cheaper to have a slave. It's always cheaper yeah. to 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 throw your trash well, over. Do not fence. care, basically. Yeah. Do not and, care. And you had to rein that in. Yeah. And investors have chosen to rein themselves in. 